What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2220, or sorry, 2324. Bowman University Chrome Basketball, two box break. One delight, one hobby, random first name, first letter, number six. Again, chasing the elusive one of one, LeBron and Bronny. Um, and here you go, guys. 18 total spots. Everybody gets a random letter from the list below. There's your example. If you get letter B and Bronny James pops out, that goes to you. And we go by the name on the card. So Bronny goes to B. I know his name is LeBron James Jr., but it's whatever the card name says. It says Bronny, it's going to go letter B. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's dice roll it. And it is a five and a four nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, four, nine. Brian Frank, down to Brian Frank. All right, then we got nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Honestly, I, I'll put it out there right now, guys. If we were to hit that, uh, I'm probably not randomizing that. I think we've said it in the past. Big cards like that, we will not do that, and we'll just let the customers decide what they want. If they want to keep it together and sell it together, we'll definitely accommodate that. <laughs> I am not randomizing that. Especially with one of them not being here, potentially. Alright, so... Here we go. Brian Frank with I-N. Kurt with zero... Or sorry, zero. <laughs> O-P. Tristan with L, Craig with A, Kurt with S, Andrew with Z, all the letters not listed, Kev with E, Tristan with M, and Andrew. Congrats, you got B for Brawny. Hopefully you get you some Brawnies. Uh, Kennard with J, Kurt with R, Andrew with K, Brian with Q, W, X, Tristan with T, uh, Kurt with F, G, Brian with D, Rosario with C, and Brian Frank with H, and Tristan got L. I didn't realize I passed L. Got a chance. 50-50 shot if we were to pull that one on one. <sighs> uh, I don't know, Rex. I haven't seen the checklist, so I can't tell you yes or no, but to my knowledge, there is only one. And I think that card goes for more than... True, more than it should, but I'd say that card goes for over a hundred thousand. And I feel like it's a once in a lifetime type of card, but uh, LeBron obviously is the only proven one right there. If someone's buying that card for that much, uh, they're just buying it for the hype that it's getting. Except Bronny can go into the NBA soon whenever he does and just be horrible so it's like you're only buying it to really just be that person maybe to just get it cause you're so hyped and you wanna own that card I just I just feel like if it goes for over a hundred thousand dollars that's that's a lot but again it's not my money so if, if someone has a hundred thousand dollars to blow on that card or more kudos to them but for sure, six figures, I feel like, for sure. I'd assume he could. If there's truly only one of them, I'd assume he probably would say, hey, whoever, whoever, pull, whenever they pull that card, someone please contact me because, you know, I want to buy it. Now, LeBron James seems like a cheapskate in the sense that I don't think he would spend a lot of money for it. <laughs> he probably would honestly just be like, hey, I'll give you like a autographed jersey. You know, or, uh, you know, some tickets to a Laker game and you get to meet me. Which, again, is a cool experience, but I'll be like, nah. I, I rather get your money. <laughs> like, it's cool meeting you, getting backstage and shit like that. But that's how a lot of athletes, too, sometimes kind of avoid having to pay any of their actual money. Oh, my God. Aaron Jones is gone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's still going. 
What a run. But yeah, I, 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 that's, what, that's, what, that's what a lot of athletes end up doing. They just convince you to be like, hey, I'll give you like a game jersey. And again, it's, sometimes it is worth money, right? I mean, sometimes if, like, if someone were to get a game used LeBron James jersey, you figure that's still like thousands of dollars. But definitely not worth what it's going to sell for, though. All right, trade with the pillows, guys. But yeah, I would assume LeBron would want it if they only made one. All right, so I'm going to do it like Joe, guys. He was just picking a box from each stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's generate a number. I don't, I don't have two dice here, so. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's supposed to be seven. That one doesn't count. Well, it was meant to be box five. We're pulling LeBron, LeBron James right now. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. This is getting close territory, guys. If the Packers score a touchdown, man, do the 49ers have enough time to come back? Checklist says one. Thank you, Diego. Yeah. I figured it's only one. But honestly, this is the first of many LeBron James and Bronny James dual autographs. So, yes, it does have some significant value being the first, but... If they decide to make more in the future and make more than one, then I think that's where LeBron James can actually just get one of those. Because he said it in the past that with Upper Deck, when he was exclusive to them, he kept some of his RPAs from Exquisite and stuff like that. So he probably has a couple of those million dollar RPAs that he that people buy. So, I mean, like I said, I'm sure there's going to be more opportunities uh, in the future. And imagine if it shapes up to be perfectly... Bronny comes in like in two years, let's just say not this year, but next year, and LeBron's still playing, he could have a dual autograph with his son in an NBA uniform officially licensed. That you do, Rex? You do that for us? Man, what a guy. What a guy. I mean, I guess LeBron James would also have to agree to do that. LeBron probably has... LeBron's time is money, bro. I don't even know if he'd want to come to our shop. LeBron's probably like, nah. Jersey and a ball, take it or leave it. <laughs> It'd be awesome, Rex, but that's... That's like fantasy thinking right there. <laughs> Oh my god. They did not get a touchdown. Are the 49ers gonna win by freaking. Oh, wait, wait, they wouldn't be by one. They'd be tied if they kicked the field goal. Or if they scored a touchdown. Fuck, he missed it. No! He missed it! Jesus. Oh man, 49ers are gonna win. They're gonna get on a drive right now. They're gonna win the game by freaking three. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. So, Zach Eddy, he's supposed to be a bigger prospect soon. Uh, Jared McCann, number to 150. Mackenzie Baco. Max 
Abmos. Purple to 399. We got Justin Edwards. Wow, is this like a retro one? That's pretty cool. Does Brawny have normal base cards as well? And Zachary Rebasher. Or Rice oh sorry, Rishiser. The two fifty. Letter Z. Going to Andrew. And then Kevin McCullough Jr. Well, Diego, earlier they missed the extra point. Or they missed the field goal earlier. So, actually, Packers Packers and uh, 49ers are even now. Or they got blocked, actually. Packers blocked the field goal, so we unlocked that one earlier. Mookie Cook. Ryan McDowell. Cody Williams. Oh, that's true. How much they pay that kicker to miss? They can't have the Packers move on. They need the 49ers to move on, right? It's rigged. Rigged. Devin Williams out of UCLA. Letter D going to Brian Frank. Jared McCann. Another one for Jay. Brian Kamara. Alright. Here we go, guys. All right, Devin Royal for letter D, number to 399. Jordan Dingle for letter J, to 199. And then Mark Sears for letter M. So letter M is Tristan, letter J is Kennard, and letter D is Brian. We got Justin Edwards. RJ Jones, Kyle Fubkowski, DJ Wagner. Wow, we did it, guys. Did not pull the one of one, but how about a little Bronny James? Bowman's first autograph. There we go. Uh, here we go. Going to letter B and Andrew. First break, first Bronny. Devin Williams for letter D going to Brian Frank. Out of 199. Think so, Diego? I don't know, man. I feel like the 49ers are going to go on a drive and they're going to win the game. And there's probably not going to be enough time for the Packers. And they're going to get lucked out, bro. Purdy did not have a pretty good game. Could have thrown a couple interceptions. It's gonna hurt. This one's really going to hurt the Packers, watch. Because they were right there. Hannah Hildalgo, uh, Dalgo. Letter H. Going to Brian Frank. And DJ Wagner. You think so, Steve? Nah, I don't know, man. Would be fun to see, I guess. <laughs> Another one for letter D. Going to Brian Frank. And then two numbered cards. I guess there's... Four numbered cards in the back. Five. Dalton Necht. Another one for letter D. Then Jeremy F Fears. Letter J. Kennard. All right, guys. Well, I would have to say success. We did pull a brownie. So, there you go. Nice. Again, guys, we'll repost this. We have more boxes. Uh, wow. Drop ball. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Thank you.